said I had 3A type insulin resistance. I knew I likely had IR. Other than avoiding anything that raises my blood glucose levels and doing HIIT and other preventative measures, anything you'd recommend? So it's a great question, Fort Worth. Anytime we have insulin resistance, here's what's going on. Our insulin receptors, they don't respond to insulin so well anymore. And so with all of these things, we think about lifestyle first, but we also think about supplements and then we think about medications and then we think about procedures. So you mentioned a lot of the lifestyle stuff. That's by far the most important. Supplements, medications, procedures, you can't out supplement a lifestyle problem. You can't out medicate a lifestyle problem. You can't out prescribe it. And you certainly can't out surgerize a lifestyle problem. So by far in a way, lifestyle is king. The second thing to think about is, so what's the most important part of lifestyle? Just like what I went through a minute ago, there's also a very clear hierarchy within lifestyle. Within lifestyle, diet is by far the most important component. It's important in two ways. One is, what's your weight? What is your body fat? We used to think that body fat was an inert energy storage material, tissue. It's not. It's what we've found over the past decade or so with the science is that it's actually much more of an endocrine tissue. It causes insulin resistance. Now, we can talk about the other things that cause insulin resistance a little bit later, but you know, let's get back to Fort Worth West Side question. So the number one thing is to maintain a low BMI, a low ratio of body fat to muscle, and especially around the midsection, around the abdominal organs, that apple-shaped versus pear-shaped body. Now, that's item number one in terms of diet. Item number two in terms of diet is what you're doing on a regular basis, and that's what you mentioned a minute ago, things that raise my blood glucose level. If you can't metabolize carbs, be careful about eating them. That's one of the most important things. And it seems very obvious, but you know what? Look at the rest of the internet. You know, there are multiple channels just like mine who don't understand why the American Diabetes Association, the American Heart Association, dietitians, coaches, all kept telling people to eat carbs. And you'll still see it. Eat whole grains. Don't eat whole grains. Look at the glycemic value. If you can't eat it without raising your blood sugar, don't eat it. Eat something else. There's a great book called Blood Sugar 101 by Jenny Rule, R-U-H-L. And she's got a, one of the great rules in there. And that is eat to the glucometer. Get a blood glucose finger stick device. Start checking it. I was just on a patient with Malaysia a few minutes ago. And one of the things he was saying was, do beans help? He cut out breads. He cut out rice. But then the question was, I'm eating a lot of beans. Do those cause problems? Well, very simple way to answer that question. Eat the beans, 30 minutes later, check your blood sugar, and an hour later, check your blood sugar. Those are some of the key things that you need to do. Like you said, Fort Worth West Side, muscle mass is important. It's critical, especially as we get past our mid 60s. So resistance training, high intensity interval training, those are very, very important. And you do need a good aerobic base. You can get that from walking if you can't get it from running. You can get it from ellipticals and other types of things. Why wait for a disease and hope for a cure? I used to be an ER doc. My name is Ford Brewer. I quit ER after a few years because it was just so frustrating. Most of the things bringing people into the ER are things that should have been prevented, including heart attack, stroke, number one cause of death, number one cause of permanent disability. People think that you're just gonna have those and that they're not predictable. Both of those are wrong. You, they are predictable and you don't have to have them. Usually it's lifestyle. Lifestyle is more important than supplements and even prescription drugs and even stents and surgery. But the current times are tough. Major financial impact with the lockdowns that most states have been going through. We've been working on a way to make this much more affordable with a subscription process. And that's exactly what we're announcing today. We've got two levels. One is the silver membership where you get access to our courses, a private webinar each month, and access to our supplement store and supplement recommendations and prescription. Or I would suggest even more so the gold membership, 
You can get a script for a Freestyle Libre and find out what your blood sugar metabolism is doing on a daily basis. And you can get a lab order for inflammation, OGTT, and insulin survey. You can also get a 30-minute one-on-one with me. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Cost is no longer an excuse. So if you're interested, go to go.prevmedheartrest.com slash prevmed dash subscription or call us at 859-721-1414, 859-721-1414 or email us at myhealth at prevmedheartrest.com. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you.